Good afternoon and welcome to Integrity Cells and Services. Folks, this afternoon we're going to show you a nice video of a 2005 Freightliner Columbia Day Cab. Folks, it's an exciting truck to tell you about. She's chromed out, she's slicked up, and she is a beautiful looking piece. Larry, go ahead and fire up this big old Mercedes. Let's let them hear it run. We're going to go through, folks, and we're going to show you the engine compartment. We're going to let you look at the oil with us, the blow-by, and then finally in the end, we're going to give you an absolute virtual road test in this truck. So let's come on up here and have a look, folks. Larry's going to pull out this dipstick, bring it out here where it's light. I'm going to let you have a look at this nice, clean motor oil. Look at that. I can see right through it on the stick. Now, look at this blow-by, folks. Now, as you can tell, there is absolutely zero blow-by coming out of that big motor. It's unbelievable. For 500,000 miles, it's still considered a low-mile truck. Folks, it is an impressive, nice, clean truck. Now, I can't think of a better place to start than right here on these bright, shiny chrome wheels. Look at this, folks. Decked out 22.5 tires, about 90% tread. Look down in here. Take a look at these 80% brake shoes. You can see she's all greased. New filters. Air ride front axle, folks. Have you seen that for a while? Check it out. Nice, clean oil pan. Look along the side of this big old Mercedes engine. It's dry as it gets. No evidence of any oil leaks. Look at that nice nice radiator. Take a look up here. Right there is your absolute horsepower stamped at 450 horsepower at 1900 RPMs. What a power horse. Now let's go ahead and zip on around and let you have a look on the passenger side. As we come up here you can see an absolute repeat duplication 22 fives. Nice deep rubber. Look at those matching brake shoes there. Again the clean oil pan. I want to point that out. You know if there's a leak on the motor anywhere from the top. Where does it end up? Down hanging off the oil pan. Folks, there are none. Look along this manifold. It's clean. Look underneath the turbo. Dry as it gets. Folks, it is a nice truck. I'm not trying to overemphasize. I'm only trying to bring out the point of what we actually have here. It is a very nice, impressive truck. Now, I can't think of a better place to continue than right from the front of this bright, shiny truck. I'm going to start right here on this corner of the hood. You can see we're decked out with stainless and chrome and it's all the way around. Look at them LED lights on the bumper. Nice fog lights there. Up above you got the stainless visor, stainless bug shield. Coming on around you can see we have flawless blue metallic paint, nice chrome mirrors, chrome stack up on top, nice polished aluminum tanks. Just check it out for yourself. Now, I'm going to show you underneath this cab. That's impressive. It is so clean, there is nothing to hide. Look down in there. The frame rail all the way back is beautiful. Look at the air ride cab. Take a look at the back of the cab. Yeah, I know we got a little snow, but I'm telling you, it's not disguising anything from reality. This is a beautiful truck. Look at this nice big aluminum deck plate she's got on here. Look at the nice clean differentials, nice airbag setup, and how about those matching drive tires. Check it out. Look at those aluminum wheels. You even have aluminum all the way around here on the outside. Nice stainless steel quarter fender extensions on the mud flaps there. The stainless steel quarter fender brackets. Beautiful framework. Look at this, folks. Check it out. Look at the nice tires matching. You can see we have the aluminum continuing all the way around it. Nice sidestep here. Folks, this has a proper wheelbase. If you want to pull a dump trailer, put a wet kit tank behind the cab, you can do it all with this truck. Nice aluminum battery boxes. Check it out. Beautiful side on this with the driver's door area. Just a very nice, clean truck. Let's come on around and get you a squared off look from this perspective so that you can see what you're buying. If you want to buy this truck over the phone, you can do so with confidence and we'll ship it to your door. Now, next, Larry's going to open up this driver's door and we're going to get you a look at the interior of the cab. Okay, folks, as we come up here, take a look at the bottom of this door. Just beautiful. Now, remember, these are aluminum cabs. They never will rust, but they can corrode. And you're going to see, looking underneath here, there's absolutely no oxidization going on, period. Look at the nice door panels. All the panels are there. They're not ripped apart. Very slight scuffing here from the shoe wear getting in and out of the cab. Just overall immaculate condition. Look around that door jam, folks. The seals, the gas 
baskets. Everything is there. They even have a nice Freightliner mat here. Look under the mat. Beautiful, like new condition, folks. Nice deluxe air ride seat. Let's come on up here. Look at those nice clean brake pedals in that. No wear on them. And how about the seat? Let's flip up the armrest. Check that out. Look at the seat cushion. Look at the back of it. Look at the drivers, the passengers. All the way through, you cannot fault the truck, folks. I'm telling you, you're sitting here on a big 10-speed Eaton transmission. There's your shift pattern. You've got suspension gauges, oil temperature. You have the suspension dump. I'm telling you, I, it's easy to be a shorter list to tell you what it didn't have. This is a nice featured truck. Tilt wheel, and how about this? Now, let me zero in. Sit down for a surprise. 566,827 miles. Folks, it is mild right for the year. Beautiful truck. Lots of life left. And here we go. We're ready to take you for a road test. We're going to go ahead and pop in this passenger side. Larry's going to get in the driver's seat, and we're going to go ahead and zip down our country road here. And before I do that, I want to just take a quick scan around the lot here and show you that we do build hopper grain trailers, grain trucks, and anything imaginable. If you can dream it, we can build it. Just come with your plans. Now, let's go ahead. You can see coming in the passenger area that we have the owner manual stacked right here in the door compartment. And look underneath this door. You can see it's a duplication of what you've already seen. Looking under the floor mats on the passenger side. Beautiful area coming into the cab. Let's go ahead, show you the dash area from this perspective, and you can see that there was nothing hidden from you from the previous angle. Folks, let's go ahead and close the door. I want to show you we do have power windows as well on both sides. Now, Larry's going to go ahead and fire this girl up, and we're going to let you have a look at the gauges and everything. And one thing I want to point out to you is this truck is very well insulated. Now, I can lower my voice way down in this cab, and I don't have to be yelled to be heard because it is quiet in here. Very, very soundproof truck. Now, she's warming up on us a bit. Let's slide over here. You can take a look. You can see she's idling there at about 500 RPMs. Look at that. You heard the camera. Just under 50 pounds. Now, go ahead and bump that throttle, Larry. Wow. Now, look at that. As soon as we come up, go ahead and bump that again, Larry. Hold that at about 15, 1600. Now, we're 1600 RPMs. Pressure. Folks, impressive. Look, no dummy lights on, no check gauges on. Beautiful truck. Now, let's go ahead. Larry's going to release the brake here. And I want to show you, folks, that with a 10 speed transmission like this, you use the clutch only for drive. After that, you can power shift it. Now, look at that. He's not, he does not have his foot on the clutch. Look at that. And here we go. Next year, never touch the clutch. Folks, anybody can drive them. If you can climb in the seat, release the brake, and push the clutch once, you've got it made. Now, we're heading right down our road here. We're just pulled out of the lot, and this sucker has power. We're already coming up on 25, 30 mile an hour. We're cruising along. You can tell there's no shakes and rattles. With that, folks, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video by thanking you for shopping Integrity Cells and Services, and we welcome you to give us a call at 260-238-5000 and visit our website at www.99trucks.com. Thanks again, and I'll be waiting to take your call.